happened in this, Sir William, and we're fixing to go kayaking for the first time. Yep. In that lake. Oh yeah. That's a stick. So the good news is we're floating. Thanks to Glenn pushing us off. And both of them were in my garage. Yeah. I've never seen one out here in the water. Well, I'm not really worried about it. We couldn't have picked a better day at a lake or something. Oh, no, we couldn't have picked a better day. Except for one with maybe some shade by the clouds could have been <laughs> slightly nicer. Are you recording? So we were pre-warned that... Um, the, the good news is, <laughs> if you get water in the kayak, then uh, the only way that you can get the water out... No, it's if you, if you don't, like if you come out. Yeah, if you somehow or another come out and get water inside the kayak, the only way you can get the water out is... Swim ashore, dump it out. If I can. Yeah, swim. These, these don't have drain plugs. Well, I don't even think with the drain plug, what are you going to do? Drain it out while you're in it? That ain't going to work. Well, and some people say to carry a sponge with you, like in your compartment. That way you can just kind of sponge it out. Cause usually the water you Kind of damn spongy. <laughs> well, usually you don't get like a ton. Shit, I'm going to get this thing figured. I think so. over the lakes so I gotta figure out there's a twist move if I could master that I'd be in business and what I mean is I feel like my stroke going in isn't as efficient so I've got to figure out how to make that more efficient and to be honest until I get the hang of it I think slowing down is the way to do it what you trying to say I'm all willy nilly up here no I'm just trying to say I'm trying to figure it out what you talking about willy nilly I done caught you and I stopped I like it <laughs> Even if I do tip over, I don't care. <laughs> so, it's pretty straight. But you're out here, I mean, you're out here and you're baking, man. Oh, like, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm like sweating. Really you're bad. baking, you know what I mean? Definitely wear a life jacket, though. I can see where this could get ugly quick. So Christy thinks that she's fancy. Cause she done left my ass hanging back here. The waves are coming in deep. Captain, they're coming in. <laughs> We're fighting against major swells right now. Coming across the harbor of Lake Murray. Riding these jammers. I said, hang on there, baby. Well, I tell you what, I had to slap, warm myself, slap the hell out. All right, whoo. That's enough. Damn it, that's enough. Alright, so. First glimpse of the little island which we're going to. I believe it is right over there in the center. With the one little lonesome tree poking out. Supposedly, it's like a cemetery. All that on there. So, the whole history of Lake Murray, I don't really know. Um, I've heard quite a bit of stories that all conclude to at least one thing being true, which is that they flooded out, um, 
either several or at least one small town, village, community, whatever it's called, in order to make the reservoir. And this was real popular in, uh, in the south, southeastern region especially. And what they do with these reservoirs is not only does it provide drinking water, but it also, they put a hydro dam. And the hydro dam provides electricity. So that's what they did. And uh, there's still remnants um, in Lake Murray, as with many of the big lakes in the southeast region and really, I guess, all across the United States. Because I know there was one in Texas when I was there. Uh, Lake Grapevine, Grapevine Lake, something like that. Very similar type deal. Nonetheless, that's, uh, that's what it is. That's where we're going to. So we're halfway there. Now let's hope that we don't forget how to get back. So my paddle just hit the water and the way that it sounded and then I don't know why but it kind of felt weird too. I, th <laughs> I thought the paddle fell off. <laughs> oh shit, what do I do now? <laughs> yeah, it didn't but I thought it did. I was flipping out for a second. Okay, so now is going to be the challenging portion because we have to navigate over to this island through the big water. And as you can see, there's boats and all kinds of whatnot that we have to contend with. Um, the biggest thing is, is you don't want to get run over by a boat. And it's very easy to do because you got a lot of folks out here enjoying their time on the boat, but many of them are out here enjoying their time on the boat and drinking excessive amounts of alcohol and might not be able to see quite as good. So, you gotta watch it. Plain and damn simple. That's all there is to it. So the easy way would have been to just go off to the left and go straight across, but because we have one, two, three boats coming, we're gonna have to wait to do that for the wake to die down. Current situation. All right, so now we found our clearing and we're going for the cross. This is where you get to perfect your skills a little bit. And I think rather than being quick, it's being efficient and long. And use every bit of your body. Work them hips and swing them thighs. Well, I hope that's the right island. <laughs> Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. We made it to the island. Let's see what we're working with. Supposedly there's like cemeteries or something crazy. So I just whacked y'all with the damn paddle. Somehow or another, 
kind of got off keltered. Got my whole side wet. I don't know how the hell that happened. But I did save it. We didn't tip. No TIP, baby. No tip. Team. you think? I think it was a pretty good little journey. <laughs> what did it take us about 30, 45 minutes? Or longer? Uh, probably a little bit longer. Definitely slick, isn't it? Yeah, you gotta be careful. Alright, so I don't see any cemetery on this island. It is definitely a little island. But this apparently is not the one with the cemetery on it, I guess. Based off the directions, or how I interpreted the directions, this is where we ended up. Still a cool island nonetheless. What I really like about it is... The fire ring. Yeah. So ideally, if we could find a kayak or a canoe or something of that nature that could allow us to carry all of our stuff out to a little island like this and camp, I think that'd be pretty cool. that island's called Goat Island. This is the back side of it. Going around that island. And there's some more islands over here. Pretty cool. Everybody's just kind of chilling. This is a typical summer day on Lake Murray. I've been out here many a times on the boat. Um, usually we always kind of go to the same island. Been kind of doing the same thing since we were teenagers. Which is one of the reasons why we're kayaking today, because we wanted to try something different. So, this is just another spot where people go. Call that the Redneck Yacht Club. So, meteorologist Christy says we need to check the radar, and she's probably right. It is summertime in South Carolina. For the life of me, I can't figure out, neither can Christy, where all these damn shells come from. We're nowhere near the ocean. This is all lake. I mean, what is that? Like, what are those shells? How do they get here? What are they from? So here goes what I think is the hardest part of the whole situation getting in. It's definitely the challenging part. Especially if you got any kind of size to you, you know? Good news is we're in. And we're ready to roll. Just like that. So in typical fashion as it normally does, especially over this lake. About three o'clock, it starts looking like this. A little gloomy. Not necessarily gloomy, but you can tell they up to something up there. Brewing up some storms. It's kind of the summertime pattern for this area trying to get a house like this so if y'all could like subscribe and share and then go to my patreon and give me some money I want to be YouTube rich well against all odds we found a little cove which we put in at over at uh, our friend Glenn's house and buddy here I'm telling you this shit is not no walk in the park
this a damn workout and a half for real but that's what we uh that's what we wanted that's why we uh that's why we're doing it so a little healthy activity get in shape on the rowing machine i wouldn't have lasted near this long i can assure you so pretty good activity pretty good day let's see what christy thinks that she's gonna have the similar consensus What do you think? I enjoy it. Huh? I enjoy it. I do too. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Go to your left. I think. Yeah. A lot of work. So, general consensus is I'm about to die. Whew. I found a swing and I had to sit on it because not only did we just row around the damn lake but we had to lug it up that hill too so if you remember where we were swimming at I set the key out on the bank of that little island and guess what's still on the bank of that island the key to the truck luckily we're on Papa Winslow's boat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make it back out on a kayak. All right, and now we're off. So, general consensus. General consensus, what do you think? I like it. I really enjoyed it. Um, way back was a lot harder. Yeah. Than tiring. Yeah, for sure. Like, I am... Beat? I'm beat. Yeah, I'm I, and beat. I know I'm going to feel it probably later tonight. Yeah. I feel the same way on the way back. I was definitely feeling it a whole lot more than I was on the way there. But, ultimately, I think that it's a fun, fun activity. Fun thing, yeah. I think I'm going to get a kayak. Yeah. You want one? Oh, I know which one I want. We're getting yaks! Boy! Till next time. Peace. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that stuff for me, please. Thank you.